So if I can have your attention, please. Thank you. Awesome, I hope your bellies are full of pasta and garlic bread and salad. Make sure you eat your greens. This, this, hey, listen up. Uh, I'll say that another time. So, I'm going to share with you a little bit about the Mountain View High School Instrumental Music Department and the classes and programs that we have to offer here. First of all, I'm gonna share with you the concert ensemble. So essentially what you saw today, I'm gonna to talk about a little bit, uh, talk a little bit about that. First, there is Symphonic Band and String Orchestra. Symphonic Band is a non-audition group, and uh, we often are focusing on the fundamental skills to, to grow as musicians. It's kind of the training group. Working on warm-ups, working on articulations and rhythms, and Symphonic Band is a year-long 10 performing arts credit class. And again, the focus is on training uh, your musical skills and improving on those. Many, actually I'll say most students in Symphonic Band audition for wind ensemble later on. And for the most part, many students uh, progress into wind ensemble. If uh, there are some decisions, um, there are some students who decide to stay in symphonic band too, which is fantastic. Uh, but it's a great starting point in your high school musical career. We also have wind ensemble. Wind ensemble is audition based. Uh, look, it's Jem. <laughs> Yay, Jem. Jem did the whole setup with her other friends too. So um, there's Jem. And so th there is an audition required for Win Ensemble. I'm gonna talk about the audition process in just a little bit, but it is also a year-long 10 performing arts credit class. And there are travel opportunities. Next spring, next spring 2021, we are traveling to Hawaii for the Pacific Basin Music Festival. We did that a couple years ago and we kind of have that a three-year rotation type of thing. Uh, so that's a fun opportunity. We also had members of our wind ensemble join our marching band for the London New Year's Day Parade. If you happen to play a string instrument as well, our chamber orchestra also travels. Last year they traveled internationally to Ireland. And we have many members um, in our program who are participating in chamber uh, orchestra as well as wind ensemble. For example, Ian Shu. Where are you, Ian? Yeah. Where are you? Okay, it's all right, it's all right. He's still at percussion practice. Um, so, oh, actually, maybe I didn't even come tonight. But nonetheless, he plays, um, he plays violin in chamber orchestra, and he also plays percussion here in wind ensemble. Uh, so there are a lot of crossovers. The focus is to, um, work on challenging repertoire and again to bring that challenging repertoire to uh, other travel opportunities, international performances, whatnot. So the audition process. The audition process is going to take place in April. We don't have specific dates yet, but you will essentially find an available time slot with, uh, with Jason and myself. And you're going to have a 10 minute audition that will consist of a, a piece of music that you select, as well as sight reading, as well as some scales. And so uh, it takes about 10 minutes. And you also need a recommendation from your middle school teacher. And so we're looking to see that you are ready for an advanced ensemble that consists a lot of seniors and some uh, mature high school students. So. Uh, we need to know that you will be able to handle that and uh, be prepared for that. Again, the audition slots will be arranged by your middle school teacher, uh, which is great, and you'll find out more information about that soon as we send it out. Marching band. Before I get into marching band, I do want to say that our concert ensembles, uh, Jason and I are trying very hard to build community among the concert ensembles. Um, 
And one way we're doing that is this weekend, the orchestra is going to go away to an orchestra camp. Uh, and so they, they're going to go and they're going to play music and they're going to have some bonding and some neat activities. And so we're growing in these communities and trying to build uh, leadership and these lifelong relationships and friendships. Uh, so we are working towards that in the concert ensembles. And uh, marching band is a, a very strong example of a, a program where community is a strong focus. And it, you probably have heard a lot about our marching band, you've seen a lot about uh, our marching band. We, we focus very much again on community and leadership and musical excellence. Probably the first two being our focus more often than not. And there are strengths. It just so happens that we're also a good marching band. Um, and so we, oh look, there's Gem again. <laughs> She's famous. And Emma. And Emma. And Emma. Yeah, oh, yeah. Emma. And Alex. And Sophie. And Wynn. Everybody knows Zach. That's Zach. Anyways. As you can see in the picture at the bottom, that is a, a picture of our community thank you, where we come together with uh, Los Altos High School, Santa Clara High School, and St. Francis High School, and we, we perform. So community is so important to us here in our music program, and you will definitely find it in marching band, but you will also find it in all of the other concert ensembles as well. Um, Marching band consists mostly of brass woodwinds, percussion, and colored guard. Percussion, you will see, uh, you will see marching, marching percussion on the field with marching snares and quads, uh, as well as bass drums. And then there's the front ensemble percussion, the pit percussion, who are stationary on the sideline. And uh, they do not march on the field, but they're playing mallet instruments, marimbas, uh, other auxiliary uh, percussion instruments, um, as well as synth. And then there's color guard. Color guard is a visual element of marching band that consists of uh, dancing, as well as the use of props, such as flags, sabers, and rifles, or other props that they are often using in their dance and their movement. Um, also, throwing in the air um, and catching it, which just boggles my mind. I don't know how anyone does that, but we have some very talented color guard members in our program. And so all of those elements um, together is what creates marching band. Anyone can join, even our string players join. And so if you uh, haven't played an instrument before, which all of you do, obviously, but if you have friends who've never played an instrument, they're welcome. Anyone is welcome into marching band. Uh, there will be a learning curve because we move very fast in our rehearsals, but it has been done. We have some violin players who uh, picked up the tenor saxophone uh, the day before band camp began. and. and they taught them, uh, their, themselves how to play uh, tenor saxophone, and they love it, and they think it was so worth it. Um, it's five elective credits, so if you opt into marching band your sophomore year or later, then uh, that will count as your PE credit. It's important um, to know that is not the case for your freshman year. Freshman, is, freshman PE is required by the school, um, so you must take PE your freshman year. But sophomore year and on, this will fulfill your PE credit. Very tempting. Uh, and August through November is our marching band season. We begin before school starts, and uh, we go to a band camp, which I'm going to tell about. Tell you a little bit about in a minute, but. We also compete in the Bay Area at a few competitions, anywhere between three and four. And we also uh, perform parades, the Los Altos Lights Parade and the London New Year's Day Parade. We are beginning to have discussions with our friends in London, part of the London New Year's Day Parade organization, uh, about 
implementing a trip in a couple of years again because we loved it and it was very successful. So it'll probably happen in a few years, hopefully. Um, not many promises, but we're beginning to have those conversations because it, you start having those conversations years out. <laughs> um, can I march a different instrument than what I play right now? Yes, you can. We have quite a few people who play trumpet. Uh, in, in wind ensemble or concert, uh, symphonic band, but then they play mellophone on the field or uh, they choose to play baritone, different things, um, different crossovers like that. If you play the French horn, the easiest transition uh, instrument for the marching band um, field is uh, the mellophone. That's what most of our French horn players play. It's also what I marched. Um, even though I play the oboe. <laughs> so, who knows what you will end up with. Anything is a, a possibility. How much time commitment is marching band? It's a lot. I will be honest with you. And I'm sure that the people next to you who are in marching band would agree that it's a big time commitment, but they would also have no hesitation in saying that it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I think that it's just a great opportunity to meet friends and to experience a, a, an activity that you enjoy together and have the opportunity to compete and build your musical skills. And so what is band camp? This is, uh, I was talking a little bit about it earlier, that it begins before uh, school starts. We, we start marching band before school begins and we go away to, uh, uh, I want to say La Honda. Yeah. La Honda, thank you. We go away to La Honda in the mountains um, for quite a few days, like four, I think. Um, it all becomes a blur once you're up there. I have no idea how long I'm up there for. But nonetheless, it's a really cool opportunity because there's like no cell phone reception and you're just hanging out with your friends. So you're not like texting. And it's just a great opportunity to meet cool people before you're even starting high school. So by the time you come to high school, your first day of school as a ninth grader, you already have about 130 other friends because we're, we're starting before school begins and we're having these cool bonding experiences up at camp. It's definitely great. Winter percussion and winter guard, yes. That's a good question, I'll get to that. Hold those questions. Um, winter percussion and winter guard. <clears throat> so winter percussion is, uh, uh, winter percussion and winter guard, these are both auxiliary uh, classes that take place in the winter season. Look, they're so happy. Please, we got a Yamaha thing. Oh look, I'm twirling a special thing, I don't know what that is. But I'm sure they throw it and catch it as well. So, uh, winter percussion and winter guard, they take place in the spring semester, starting in January. And different from marching band, they're an indoor activity. And so uh, they, they might rehearse outside, but their competitions are inside of the gymnasium. And for winter percussion, it's a marching drum line and a front ensemble. Sometimes there's recorded music to accompany, uh, accompany that, but there are no winds. And there are no winds in winter percussion. And again, it takes place in the winter season. So we have members of our winter percussion with us now. They just finished rehearsal half an hour ago. And so they just joined us. Um, winter percussion is awesome. We also have winter guard. Again, indoor, the competitions are inside. And it's color guard only, no instruments. They just perform to recorded music. Um, and both of these things are led by other staff members that Jason and I hire uh, who are specialists in the areas because, again, I don't know how to throw and catch these things or play a drum. So we hire people who are experts and much more experienced than we are. And we love our staff. The staff is awesome. Um, Casey helps run winter percussion. Susie helps run winter guard. In the marching band, we have um, we have Thomas who helps design our show and teach us how to march. And then, in addition to those three 
awesome people, we have a bunch of others who support them in those areas. Again, teaching everyone how to march, teaching people how to play uh, their uh, percussion instruments. So, not only do you get to work with Jason and myself, you also have all these other people who are teaching music and, and sharing what they love. Jazz band. Nice. Jazz band is audition based, and their uh, performances and rehearsals begin in the spring, because as of right now, they share zero period with marching band. So marching band is in the fall, and then we have jazz band auditions in December, and pick up uh, jazz rehearsals in January. And we also have uh, jazz combos that play in the community, and they're often hired by companies or other people who are hosting parties, and so that's a really neat opportunity to expand your jazz playing and jazz experiences. Any additional ensembles? We have symphony orchestra, I believe that's starting next Monday, and it happens after school. Sorry, I guess that would be a, a week from Monday because it's a holiday. But we have uh, after school um, rehearsals at 3.45 in Packard. And it's a combined string uh, and wind ensemble. So the thing is, is because of the unique instrumentation of any type of symphony, or symphony piece, you are going to have limited wind parts. So there's not uh, many like saxophone parts in uh, symphony pieces, but uh, we, do, we do welcome everyone and do our best to adjust and accommodate. And again, it's only during the second semester and it's, we only rehearse once a week, but it's so really fun. Last year we played a piece entitled Token Tons and the year before that, we played Rhapsody in Blue, with both had huge piano features. And then we have the pit orchestra, which this half circle right here, this is the pit. And so this, this part, the top goes away, and then these walls go away, I don't know how, but that is a giant hole in front of the stage, and the pit goes in the hole, <laughs> um, and then, and then we play live music accompanying our uh, vocalists in the musicals. And last year, we performed the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, which was really fun. And the year before that was Drowsy Chaperone, which was also really fun. And then this year, we are featuring Mamma Mia, which is awesome. Uh, and the thing is, again, similar to Symphony Orchestra, uh, musicals have a, a very specific instrumentation. So for example, Mamma Mia, it only includes electric guitars, electric basses, uh, drums, and piano, and a couple of percussion instead. So there are no wind instruments this year for this musical. So um, that is, a decision made by the Performing Arts Department, not just myself or Jason. Um, so we try to do a, a, a variety of musicals and diverse musicals throughout the years. Um, and so it's really fun if, if the instrumentation works out. Clearly here it looks like there's a couple of wins. There's like clarinet, I think, and uh, trombone, so. French horns. French horns? Oh yeah, French horns. And it's Pep Band. Pep Band is awesome. <clears throat> Anyone can join Pep Band. However, uh, this year especially, we've had a lot of uh, involvement from people in marching band. We haven't made it a requirement, but more of an encouragement or expectation for marching band members. And so our Pep Band has probably doubled in size. And it is awesome. We play at football games, we play at rallies and basketball games. Um, again, anyone can join. It's called, we call it Spartan Sound. And uh, we rehearse on Wednesdays before games or rallies. Again, it's really fun. Anyone can join. 
All right, so now uh, an opportunity for a couple of questions. And um, I will do my best to answer them, but I might ask some of our current students to help me answer them as well. Yes, Abby? What if you want to play sport in the fall? Anti marching band. Okay, that's a great question. So uh, if you want to play sport, that is fine. Um, I think that there's there will need to be some uh, responsible conversations had with you and your parents and your teachers of how to balance a schedule with marching band, how to balance the sport and your academic classes. However, with that being said, I'm a very big advocate and supporter of sports because I was an athlete and I, I, uh, I play soccer and I had to pick soccer or marching band. Obviously, I picked marching band because I'm a music director now, and I love my job. However, I do kind of regret the fact that I didn't stick with soccer because I love it and I miss it. Uh, so if there is anything we can do to support you to find a way to balance and fit both a sport and marching band into your schedule, we will do our best. I will have those conversations with you and your parents and your teachers and administration to see what we can do. Please don't give up on marching band just because you don't think it'll work with a sport. And now, some of you might be football players. That's challenging. Again, I am willing to have the conversations to see how we can get you involved in our, I'm going to call them athletic bands because we have our marching band, but we also have pep band. I'm going to figure out how we can include you as much as possible, because I know that it's important. We support sports, they support us, so we want to find a way that you can do both, because I know it's possible. Any other questions? Good one. Yes, what's your name? Samad. Say that one more time. Samad. Samad? Good question. Uh, what percussion instrument are you thinking in particular? So if you're uh, auditioning on snare, it's my understanding that you would audition on snare. Now, in the audition process, there might be um, there might be some direction from our percussion instructors. Again, they're the ones who are the experts and have more experience than Jason and myself. Um, they, they might direct you to another instrument to try and see that that's a better fit for you at that time. But you'll start on, on snare, trying that uh, in your audition. Good question, though. Anything else? Yes, what's your name? Miku. Say that one more time. Miku. Miku? Yeah. yeah. Good question. No, they do not. They only occur from August until November. So they start, um, yeah, again, like about a week before school does. And then they run until the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, and that's our Los Altos Lights Parade. Yeah, and then, and then we conclude it. But <laughs> Pet Band continues to run. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Any others? Yes, uh, Grace, is that right? No, where's Grace? You look like Grace. Someone told me the name was Grace. Oh, well that person who had their hand up looks like you. What's your name? What? Elise, Elise. yeah, it's close. Elise, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Yes, it is. Yeah. Do you have any follow-up to that? Do they count language in the I'm not going to ask that because they, they might not be thinking of that. Yeah. Uh, I'll phrase that as a statement then. So, um, yes, you can have two electives. However, a language is also an elective. So if you're considering a language, that is going to take up an elective. Yeah, does that make sense? Okay, awesome, thank you. Samantha. So marching band does not officially count as a performing art for colleges, so it will count as an elective. 
Great. So if you didn't hear that, marching band doesn't officially count as a performing arts credit for colleges, so it will count as an elective. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Um, yes. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, Riley. Riley. Yes. You just show up with an instrument in your hand, and we give you a folder, and you play your heart out. Yeah, it's really fun. Yes. So, uh, for example, with symphonic band, uh, let's say we uh, do symphonic band our freshman year. Yeah. Uh, would that take place a big instrument, or would that just be like a drink switch? Good question. So let's make sure we're being respectful of those who are asking questions. The question was, if you're choosing to be in symphonic band, is that a large time commitment? My answer is no. It is no different than an academic class. In fact, it's, it's less because you don't have homework. Um, you'll just, you'll come to class, like symphonic band is currently first period, and we rehearse, and then we have about three to four performances a year after school. Yeah, that are expected, yeah. Yes, Aditya. Is that easy? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, so it's about like the music events. Mm -hmm. So even if I'm going to like Los Altos High School, do we still have similar like music events as well? Or that is a fantastic question. I'm really glad you asked that. So the question was, uh, if you were choosing to go to Los Altos High School, are their programs similar? And yes, they are similar. And so I'm not going to compare the two um, because I, I honestly don't know the extent of the details of their program. However, I am going to say that whether you choose Mountain View High School or another surrounding high school, I really encourage you to pursue music because, it, because it's going to really impact your life, um, it, both in terms of like exercising your brain in new ways and having a break from your academics but also building in friendships and community. And those things are so valuable, especially at this time in your life. So we hope you choose Mountain View High School, but we realize some will go elsewhere. And again, just consider uh, pursuing music throughout your four years. And in addition to that, I'm also very supportive of the arts and athletics. So whether it's music or not, I really hope you find something that you're passionate about and you're able to find a community to be a part of wherever you go. It's a really good question. Anybody else? Yes, Evan. I was told that um, for marching band, if you were playing trombone, you'd have to switch to euphonia versus other brass instruments. Is that true? Yeah, that's a good question. So very often we have uh, trombone players joining marching band and the easiest instrument for that that transition is baritone. Um, it is essentially euphonium, but you hold it up like a trumpet rather than like a tuba. And um, again, it's, it's a really easy transition musically. It's just kind of heavy. Other options could include mellophone or contra, um, which is even heavier, but it is essentially the marching tuba. You carry it on your shoulder. And, yeah, it's awesome. Yes? Uh, what's a mellophone? Because I'm a French born and considering joining the marching band, I don't know what a mellophone is. Absolutely. Let me tell you a little bit about a mellophone. Uh, buckle your seatbelts. Uh, mellophone is, is essentially a marching French horn. You just hold it like a trumpet. Uh, it sounds better than a trumpet. <laughs> Fantastic. So, if you uh, 
If you have questions, please, please ask someone from Mountain View High School. They will likely be able to answer anything better than I can. So these are the next instructions that I have for you. Listen very carefully. This is probably the most important instruction I give you tonight. So please listen up. Thank you. In just a moment, I'm going to dismiss you. And you are going to go to sectional bonding. And I am going to share with you where that sectional is going to be in a moment. But these are the expectations for the sectionals. It's very important that you are respectful and uh, responsible, especially towards your section leaders. Uh, section leaders, please make sure that we're um, being aware of, of how everyone is included, but also how everyone is behaving. If you are noticing that someone is acting out of line, please be courageous and, and tell them to stop. It's really important uh, that you understand I'm putting a lot of trust in you as you are going to go and uh, have this time together because I'm going to be speaking to parents and families, essentially the same presentation that I gave to you. This is an opportunity to have fun and to learn more about the program as well as the people in it, which are, that's the most important part of this program is the people who are in it because they're very special and they're going to be your lifelong friends and mentors and community. So please use this time wisely. First, uh, this, is, this is what I'm gonna do. Please don't move yet and don't talk. Flutes, where are you going to be? Cafeteria. Flutes are going to be in the cafeteria. Clarinets, where are you? Center of Packard. Clarinets are in the center of Packard Hall, which is where you dropped off your instrument cases at the very beginning of the day, of the event. Uh, let's see, double reeds and bass clarinets, where are you? Sorry, okay, let's say bassoons. And bass clarinets, bassoons and bass clarinets are going to meet at the posters inside of Packard, okay? Uh, saxophones, altos, where are you meeting? Oh. Posters, okay? You're gonna meet at the posters and then you're going to move elsewhere. Oboes, you are also going to meet at the posters. Trumpets, do you have an idea where you're meeting? Okay. You will meet at the posters, okay? How about this? Everybody's gonna meet at your poster section, and then you're going to refer to your section leader on where to go, okay? Section leaders, just so you know, listen, I'm gonna be asking for your feedback and uh, overall summary.